to the whispers, no room for doubt. Parables drop stronger than gold faucets. Souls hydrated from divine prophets. Studied the book, changed perspectives. Carefully crafted, not too subjective. A year to reflect, learning perfect. Patterns of grace that time can't deflect. Old Testament drops deep and so real. Kings and warriors covenant seals. Split that red sea, divine reveal. Commandments written, not made of steel. Bethlehem birth to cross on the hill. Unfolding the navy blessings, cast with skill. Scripts to flip, every verse fulfilled. Through the word, every verse, every God chapter, nothing unheard. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed. Yo. Yo, online sermons, holy vibes delivered, spreading light, got the sinners reconsidered. Psalm the psalm, man's like a holy DJ, flipping through scripture, repping the Yahweh. Your emotes in the chat, praising the message, flat cap on point, teaching eternal lessons. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed. Digital pulpit, preaching like a pro. Followers grow as the faith overflow. Keyboard clicks, holy words, they stick. Raining blessings down with a slick rhyme trick. Virtual congregation, united in devotion. One year strong, a spiritual promotion. He's a life coach with divine instructions. Streaming holiness, no room for interruption. Flat cap, change the game. New pastoral fame. Virtual shepherd, he's embracing the mainframe. In the comments, affirmatives and amens. With each Goliath tackled, faith extends. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yo, online sermons, holy vibes delivered, spread in light, got the sinners reconsidered. Psalm the psalm, man's like a holy DJ, flipping through scripture, rapping the Yahweh. Your emotes in the chat, praising the message, flat cap on point, teaching eternal lessons. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed. Everybody in here blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Digital pulpit, preaching like a pro. Followers grow as the faith overflow. Keyboard clicks, holy words, they stick. Raining blessings down with a slick rhyme trick. Virtual congregation, united in devotion. One year strong, a spiritual promotion. He's a life coach with divine instructions. Streaming holiness, no room for interruption. Flat cap, change the game, new pastoral fame. Virtual shepherd, he's embracing the mainframe. In the comments, affirmatives and amens. With each Goliath tackled, faith extends. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Everybody in here blessed. I'm blessed. He's got that flat cap dapper look, making waves online, spreading the word on Twitch. Pastor with a cheerful heart, no lie. Preaching joy so high to the sky. He'll be right back. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Let's see if this is working. Streaming life by the rings. Hey, I don't think that's too bad. Using using my uh, earbuds here. And uh, <laughs> and over here, and over here, and over here, and then and then up above. So this is this is getting kind of cool, I think, with my my setup here for for cooking uh, in the kitchen here. So I'm not liking the slight tilt on a couple of these cameras. I feel like how's that? That's a little bit better. A little bit better on the on the angle there. Uh, that one's pretty good. This one over here. See if we can fix fix that slant. Oh, can't have my hand in front of it to see. Which way do I go? Gotta go that way. Okay. There we go. I'm a little happier with that. A little happier with that. So first things 
first, I gotta have some tea. I've gotta get some tea, and you know, even though I'm gonna be cooking, I gotta start with tea. I've got nothing. I drank all my tea from this morning. Let's see, it's just after two in the afternoon, so I'm not worried about my caffeine. So, tea mug. I've got my tea mug. This, if you've ever wondered, is is the tea mug that I have, and here. This slides inside ukulele. Hey, welcome in, friend. This is must start with tea. So here's the uh, where I put all my loose leaf inside there to to make my tea. Uh, hope the sound is good. Hope the sound is good. Give me a thumbs up on that. I checked it. I think we're good. And with the earbuds, hopefully this will will last over the whole kitchen. So you know what? It's just above the range of where it is. So. Let me just show you. That are all of my canisters of of tea. So let me, some are not labeled because they're, well, they didn't come with a sticky label I could put on it. So there, there are my tea flavors to choose from. Uh, I think I'm going Earl Grey today. We're going Earl Grey. Watch the fish Pepsi -o! afternoon to good to have you friend so trying to figure out where where the cameras are that uh, you know what I'll go to this one over here so should be able to see that one scoop is all all I need from from the tea here actually you know what let me let me show you the loose leaf underneath there there you go. That's what I should do. I should go over here with the loose leaf one. See, I'm figuring this out. Figuring this out. So, one full scoop of that. Now to get my water. I didn't put a camera on the sink. Don't have a camera on the sink, which is no big deal. Shouldn't be an issue at all. Pastor Naderade, welcome in. Uh, I don't have chat on the stream, so I'm going to have to be paying attention to chat as I'm doing stuff. So the plan is definitely to start with peanut butter cookies. So I have a guest that is coming for Thanksgiving. They had no place to go. Friend of uh, my son's, and uh, they're going to be hanging out. And I asked, what is it that you want? What is it you don't get? And they told me it's peanut butter cookies. So we're making peanut butter cookies. I got my mom's old school recipe on the peanut butter cookies. We're gonna be making peanut butter cookies. Then we'll be doing some cranberry sauce. I've never done cranberry sauce, so we're gonna do that. I don't mind trying stuff that's new. Not one bit. I do not know, I'm, I, I still feel like I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow morning. Uh, my daughter will not be leaving until maybe two or three this afternoon to come to my house. So, I might do some more prep of other things and get them ready as well for for what we're doing. All right, so there we have it. I have a little over a liter on that. And normally I don't cook on the big burner here, but since the camera will get the big burner, we're going to do the big burner. Um, we'll put that on medium, and we'll get some tea going here shortly. You love making cranberry sauce? Okay. Uh, that's awesome. Doing the Lord's work. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's so good to have you here, uh, Naderade. Uh, smoking turkeys and brisket for Thanksgiving dinner. Ooh, I did a, well, last year I did turkey in the oven and I did a all Thanksgiving day prep. And because I was checking chat, doing other things, I totally forgot to put the turkey in the oven on time. Uh, so it was like 45 minutes late, but uh, the previous two years, I did smoked turkey. Before that, I've done deep fried turkey. Uh, this year, I'm doing leftover turkey. And I'm doing Polish kielbasa because my son-in-law asked for Polish kielbasa. And I'm like, for Thanksgiving? Sure, why not? And I, I said, hey, what else could we do? And my wife said she wanted a pot roast. So we will have turkey. We will have pot roast. We'll have Polish kielbasa. It's going to be a festival of uh, taste going on for everybody. All right. Um, I'm going to pull up my recipe here. So my mom sent me the recipe I needed. So I, I don't know if you can see this. I'll find a, a camera to show you. 
this is probably the best camera. So there, my mom sent me a snapshot. Actually, this one might be easier to do. A snapshot of an old school cookie recipe in a cookbook, an actual cookbook. So I will get everything out that it says. Now it says shortening. I don't like using shortening at all. So it says I can substitute half butter or margarine. I'm gonna go with all butter. So let me, let me get the butter out. Not a bad idea to let it warm up, I think. I don't know. Doesn't tell me whether that's good or bad. It doesn't tell me whether salted butter or unsalted butter, so I'm just going to grab the sea salted butter. Uh, I use real butter, not using margarine. Uh, I don't, well, I use it a lot actually, but uh, I use a little fancier butter. And uh, I don't know, I really think it's, it's nicer. So, all right, so we got the butters out. Actually, I'll put it on the counter over here. I'll put all my stuff on the counter. Uh, what else do I need? Here's the peanut butter is next. Sugar, oh, okay. You know what, I hate to do this, but I'm going to. I need to do a BRB because my daughter is calling, so. He's got that flat cap dapper look Making waves online Spreading the word on Twitch Pastor with a cheerful heart, no lie Preaching joy so high to the sky He'll be right back, yes He'll be right back, back And then we can work on okay. I'll be right back, back. Unless you unless you want me to do the pie crust ahead of time, but I have to work on grandma's be recipe right for that. Back in two or three. Well I I don't know. I'm I'm only yeah, I'm only thinking eight the pie crust. something else too but that's the plan for the next hour or two is to stream that but if we don't have to stream bacon the pie crust but if you want to do the pies in the morning and then we can do whatever else i got four hours out of the kitchen so it's all my pond game, you know? okay bye he'll be right back yes he'll be right See you later. Look at it. Bye. I'll be right back. back. Yeah. We'll be right back in two or
I guess I suppose I could have left it on and you could have watched water boil now that it's boiling over because I was I was on the phone. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I figured you could hear me talking. I took the earbuds out. Um, I wasn't too worried about it. Yeah, it, well, the thing is, I never use the earbuds to talk, so I, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's cutting it out. I, I put the earbuds in my hand, and so you're probably getting some of it. So, welcome in, T-Rex! Uh, I'm doing cooking streams, so I'm going to be doing um, peanut butter cookies, and I'm going to be doing some cranberry stuff. I might do some more stuff. We'll figure that out. Uh, oh, I've done this before a couple of times. Like last year, I did Thanksgiving. So I've, I've probably done four cooking streams, and it's kind of around the holidays is when I jumped in and done cooking streams. So if you if you could tell, maybe you can. There's a little fish eye on these. So these are my cams that I use. Actually, you can see this one right here over on that camera. Uh, that's how it gets mounted to to look at my pond. So that's how those cameras look. Uh, and then the others are placed. I don't think you can quite, oh, you can see one on camera right there. And, uh, then you can't see the other one. I have nothing named it. So anyway, here's the tea. Let me show you that beautiful, beautiful pot of tea. Anyway, this method for doing tea where you have the tea leaves inside. Okay, and I'll show you underneath here so you can see that too. So you can see the tea leaves in there and uh, they have uh, swelled up quite a bit. This is the Russian method for making tea, which is my favorite method because your tea is a whole lot darker that way. So then I'm guessing from if half the conversation you you may or may not have heard my daughter has not left the house yet she just is on her way home from work she finished work at noon with the last patient but then had to fill out all the paperwork before the holidays for the week and um, so she's not on her way to my house yet so she'll she'll message me later If you noticed, well, you might not have noticed. So I did go over to the refrigerator, add a couple of ice cubes to take the level of tea down. Now, I don't like watering down coffee, but tea seems to be fine if you add more water to it. Then I can, you know, hone in right exactly on the temperature that I want the tea to be. By the way, the merch I am sporting today is for Furl Circle Beans Coffee. I just updated the website. We've got a different t-shirt you can get. We've got, oh, you know what? I should have used the mug. I will change that very quickly. Boom. Full Circle Beans mug. This is the mug from last year. This is the shirt from last year. I like this shirt better than the new one. The new one just says coffee. And then it says full circle beans on the back. But we have a new mug that you can get. And we have coffee that you can get. I do drink coffee. I could have made coffee, but I felt like tea today. So. All right. So we're going to start off with baking some cookies. So I'll have plenty of time to be interrupted in the middle of that. Um, so I was getting started. And I got to keep remembering to point where I'm at. But we got our peanut butter. We got our butter, We're getting some sugar out. This says a half a cup. I think that's enough. Brown sugar. Let me get the brown sugar. I've got more, if that's not enough, just over here. And then uh, flour. And I am going to use up, oh wait, that says bread flour. I don't think I want to use the bread flour. Okay. I've got unbleached all-purpose flour. I think I'm going to use that. That's my old flour. I'll start with that. Baking powder. And then it just says a teaspoon of soda. It doesn't even say baking soda. It just says soda in the recipe. Okay, that's weird. Baking powder, baking soda, 
salt. I think we've got everything. Okay. Anybody here like peanut butter cookies? Um, because I was going to ask your opinion on this. Let me check on my honey that I do have. Because it does say you could substitute honey for the brown sugar. Um, but I think my honey, I was going to say, is runny. But it's not. It's not runny. That's the problem. Um, yeah, here's my honey. Maybe what I'll do is I will just add a splash of honey for a little bit of extra flavor. Wow, that was weird. Dropped it and it landed right on top of my mug and did not knock my mug over at all. All caught here on film for your viewing pleasure. So anyway, I'm going to heat the honey up because it's like solid. And I'll decide if I'm going to use it or not. Anyway, I was asking, who, who here likes peanut butter cookies? They're not my favorite. Then my wife was asking me, since I'm baking cookies, should I do chocolate chip too? And I'm like, you didn't ask me to do chocolate chip. I didn't buy the stuff at the store for chocolate chip. So just boil it a bit. Uh, yeah, well, the thing is, it's in a plastic container. So I've got to heat the plastic container up. So I'm going to just soak the container in hot water while I go through the recipe. It says you can substitute honey for brown sugar. I think I might just, you know, add a little bit. We'll see how that goes. I don't know which mixer I should use on this. Should I use the beater or do I use the other? I think I use the other. I think that's what I want is this one. I don't make cookies too often, so I don't think I need to whip them. You like, you like peanut butter cookies? Well, good. Well, good. I, I will try one when they're done. I don't know how long. Well, I got the recipe, so that's all. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Here, I'm going to post the recipe in Discord a minute. Can let me download this? Come on. Oh, it just lets me share. Will it let me share straight to Discord? No, it's not going to let me do that. Okay, so we're download the picture. And let me upload it to Discord. So, I'm going to put it here right underneath the hear ye, hear ye. So, if you're looking over at Discord, you'll be able to see the recipe. There we go. There's the recipe for it. So... And there's a link to go to Discord so you can find the recipe. Okay, so measure the shortening peanut butter, sugar, and eggs. Oh, sorry, it says mix. I read measure. I'm like, and egg thoroughly. I'm like, how do you measure thoroughly? Oops, I forgot to get the egg. All right, so half a cup, I'm trying to remember how this works if you're doing these, oh, there it is, quarter cup, half cup, so a whole stick, whole stick of butter, and yes, uh, the recipe, if you look at it, does say shortening, and you can substitute butter for half of the shortening. I'm substituting all of it. I do not like using shortening. I mean, the, the way that it's made, the stuff that it is, I don't think it's healthy for you. I know you can argue with me about butter, but I'm definitely on the not in favor of um, using shortening. My mom does use a lot of shortening. Okay, half a cup of peanut butter. How do I... Oh, and I just washed my cup. How do I measure half a cup without making a mess? Here we go. Peanut butter. Just thinking, do I want to? No, I think that's a good angle on there. You'd have to be okay. Uh, I just washed it. Okay. 
So I'm going to have to fill this, and then I'm going to have to scoop it out. I wish there was a better way. Does this tell me how many cups are in here? Uh, it does not. It says 16 ounces. I guess that would be two cups, but I don't know for sure. So... Not that this is ideal, so I'm going to put that over it. And you should be able to see, I'll measure this out for you. Or for myself. Or for all of us. I did, ha well, I don't really ever do peanut butter and jelly. So it's like, if there's peanut butter in my house, somebody else bought it, generally. So I got out the two jars of peanut butter that were in my cupboard and I smelled them uh, yesterday to, or, yeah, to make sure because I was making these that, you know, it was going to be good. <laughs> they smelled so rancid. Oh my goodness, they were so bad. This is one of those times where if you could smell, uh, I, I would tempt you with smelling how bad, how bad they were. Oh my goodness, it was so, so rancid. Uh, so... Yeah, so I had to go to the store and buy new peanut butter today to be able to make the peanut butter cookies. Okay, I think that's packed. And as I thought, that's about half of it. I'm going to take this off. Where did I put it on? Just leave it sit here. It's easier to put stuff in. Now I gotta clean this out. Oh, this is a mess. Why did I say yes to peanut butter cookies? Well, hopefully this is the messiest part is the scooping the peanut butter. All right, whatever. I think I had a little bit over the top as far as level goes, so I think we're good there. I'll keep that sitting nearby in case I need to do anything else with that. Hey, Mel! Yeah, because they're delicious. <laughs> so, there we go. Got my peanut butter out. We're done with that. So, yeah, you know, I could have, I guess I could, you know, I will have to make sure I post pics of uh, the recipe and the cookies when we're done uh, over on TCD. Okay, where did I leave my phone? Because that's my recipe. Okay, so the butter, the peanut butter, the sugars, and the egg. Okay, what do I have for sugar? Half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar pack. Oh, good. In the container that I just got dirty. Ah, why didn't I look this through? Why do you put them in the wrong order? Sorry, sorry, this is me strategically thinking they should have had me measure out the sugars first and then the peanut butter, but peanut butter's listed first, so let me see if my wife's cup is over here. This is, this is my wife's measuring cup that she measures uh, nuts with. So I'm gonna wipe the inside of that out. It's just got uh, some dust in there from measuring pistachios all the time. It should not, it should not taint the cookies. But I don't wanna get it wet and then the sugar sticks, so. All right. So half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. I'm just going to top that off. There we go. And then brown sugar pack. This is going to be close to 
I'm just going to do this here so hopefully you can see. It should be close to half a cup, I think. Oh, and it said I could substitute some of the sugars with honey. I'll check on the honey a second. I'm not going to fully substitute. I might just add a little bit just to give it a slightly different taste to it. So we'll just do a couple of teaspoons of honey, I think is what I'll do. So there we go. Packed brown sugar going in the mixer. Ukulele. I was thinking the same thing. Totally worth it. Uh, while I was at church, your husband made pie. Ooh, ooh. Your house smells so good. Oh, well, pie is pie is tomorrow. So tonight when my daughter gets here after dinner, we'll be doing uh, pie crust. I don't know if we're going to stream the pie crust tonight, but tomorrow morning, I think we'll be streaming making the pie. She sounded like she was cool with that. And then the other Thanksgiving prep stuff, we'll be, we'll be doing that. Oh, I needed the egg. So I got to put the egg in and then mix. Okay. And in case, in case anyone's wondering, um, my wife does not generally cook. My wife doesn't generally cook. So this is my kitchen, and it is set up to my likings and specifications. So uh, you may have seen, if you've been around for a while, right here where the stove is, is where the refrigerator was. And this wall that's right here, you couldn't open the refrigerator door. So you had to pull the refrigerator out to open it. It was like it made no sense. And right here where this is, was that uh, pantry over there. That pantry was right in front of me here. And, uh, and then where the pantry is, was a short little island. And where the refrigerator is, is where the stove was. So I moved those around. And I moved the island over here and the cabinet above it. I moved the, the pantry over to there. The stove is six inches wider or sorry, the refrigerator is six inches wider than the stove. So if you can see down here, there's now a little tiny uh, pullout for, uh, you know, hiding pans in that wasn't there before. So this is like totally my setup. I did the tile work. Uh, I didn't do the countertops. I had I paid for that. But so my wife, if she comes in, she won't be making anything or joining in. But my daughter... My daughter will be, my son-in-law might be. So let's let's get mixing. Let's see what happens when I do this. You know what? I really I don't know if you have this, but I don't remember my mom's. She had uh, KitchenAid all you know always was one of the things. Um, I don't remember having the um, lid for it to keep it from splashing. Like my mom would always put a. Um, hmm. Does this not go on this one? It's not fitting for some reason. Thought it went on this one, or does it go on the? There we go. Ah, there it is. Something wasn't going in place. Okay. It's gonna take a while for that stick of butter there. But my mom didn't have this splash guard, which is really good when you have flour. So she'd always put a towel over the top of it. Oh, there we go. The butter's starting to mix up now. I'll turn it a little higher. Oh, man, I can smell the peanut butter coming out. And this is like so you can just pour uh, in here more effectively. I don't know if I've ever used that. I'll, we'll try that today. We'll see how that goes. All right, some of the butter still is not fully soft, so it's not mixed. It's good and smushed. I think that's good enough. We'll keep moving on with the recipe. Hey, Archie, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, ukulele, uh, that pullout of pans sounds great compared to a drawer at the bottom of the oven. Oh, yeah. Here, let me, let me pull it out for you. 
and uh, show it to you. Do I have a camera that you can, oh, you can't see it so well. Maybe if I go over here. Anyway, I put these little ribbons on it. Um, I'll show you later, but actually, I'll just do this. I'll put that camera back. So here's the pans. I'll grab those out actually, because those will be our cookie pans. So that fits in there. It's only like two, three inches wide. My cupboard work in there. Now it did have like pegs for shelves in here and you'd put shelves, like they were thinking like a spice rack. I'm like down here, that makes no sense. So I have this cloth on here, which is elastic, which will hold things in place. And you slide the drawer in and out. So that was one of the things that uh, I came up with and was able to replace and went to the same manufacturer that uh, everything was from. So that was cool. Uh, yeah, so it's nice to have that. Uh, lurking in the background, RC. Good. Glad to have you here. Uh, Mel, it's funny. We remodeled the kitchen years ago and people think it was me, but really it was your, yeah, yeah. Well, what's funny is um, the reason I learned to cook was because you know, like eight years old, uh, I'd, I'd get done with breakfast or, or lunch and say, Mom, I'm hungry like an hour later. And she's like, I cook three meals a day. If you want to cook in between those, you're more than welcome to. I'm like, great. Teach me how to cook. So she bought me a cookbook. And then after I did the cookbook, I, I learned like the fa uh, my family's way of cooking, which is here's the ingredients. Add what looks and tastes right to you. So we, we go by dashes and pinches and smidgens and a dabble. Uh, like we got all kinds of words for how we're cooking. So that's how I learned to cook and, uh, and experiment. So yeah, like when I do things and post them and people will say, how, how much of this? Well, equal parts of this thing and this thing and this thing. So you have a third, a third and a third. That's, that's how I measure for uh, my brine is a third of this, a third of this and a third of this. So. I'll give you that one right now if you're going to make a, a brisket or a pork butt. It's a third cup of vinegar, a third cup of oil, and a third cup of uh, bourbon. And then you add your spices to it. So that's, that's, how, that's how I do stuff. So if it's, I need a gallon of it, it's a third of a gallon. If I need a pint of it, it's a third of a pint. That's, that's how I do my measurements. So... You know, I'm not going to be professional um, and doing it for a living because everybody's meal would taste different. And every time you come in, it would be a different meal than the last time. It'd all be good. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You doubled your oven, so you put pans in the bottom of it. Oh, you have the double oven? Yeah, I looked at the double oven. My mom had that back in the day. She had two ovens up above each other and a built-in um, space on the side. So, okay, so let me see. So we mix that in and now it says measure flour by dipping method. Read page five for dipping method or by sifting. How about I just measure it? <laughs> okay, I need one and a quarter cups of flour. Okay, so here's my one cup. And we'll get in there and we'll get a cup out. Now, most flour comes pre-sifted now, but back in the day, my mom did lots of baking, and so it would be in a five-gallon bucket. And then uh, she would then take and, um, you know, sift all of it before making everything. I do have a sifter, but I don't, like, all of the flour you buy, if you're buying it from the store, is already going to be pre-sifted. You don't need to do that. But, you know, I used to have, you know, like, bull weevils and other stuff. I don't know if that's what they're really called, but you used to have... Uh, different insects that might be in your flour. So then you would take and um, make sure you didn't put any of them in your food by sifting your flour or to make sure any when you were, you know, making flour yourself, you didn't get any of the flour kernels. That's not the right word, but the grains of wheat. Um, 
left inside of the flour. You know, it didn't didn't sneak in there or the chaff or whatever. So that would be one reason for sifting. So if you're ever looking and go, oh, it says sifting. Why would I do that? Because you used to have to. All right. And yes, I'm just putting these away. They have flour on them. But if we reuse them, they're all hanging right here. We can grab them really, move on to the next thing and be able to use them. I'll hang my wife's red one up and uh, we'll see if, if we need that or not. Uh, ukulele, I remember sifting flour as a kid. Now I wonder if my mom was just keeping me busy. But also, Florida does have bugs and I keep my flour uh, in the freezer. Oh, yeah. Keeping it in, a, in the freezer is a good a good method for that. Okay. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. blend all dry ingredients. Stir in shortening mixture. Okay. This is... Oh, well, I'm not doing that. I I, I read measure now it says dry ingredients well you just told me flour now it's saying dry ingredients now that that's going to be my baking powder uh my soda and my salt okay this is this is poor written instructions i'm just saying didn't tell me to have a separate bowl for measuring and then it doesn't say to not, it says blend all dry ingredients. To me, that's add them in. And then it says stir in the, stir in the shortening mix. So, oops, we messed that up. So, okay, what do we have? Half a teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon, and a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'm going to need to get all of these out. So, eighth, nope, quarter, half, and one. Okay. Nope, nothing. I'm needing one. Okay. So half a teaspoon of baking powder. So there's my baking powder. If you've never measured before, this is this is one of the things. You scoop it and then you just scrape it off on the lid. That's how you get a nice even. That's why these lids are flipped like that. That's what it's designed for. So if you never cook. That's what that's for. So that's my baking powder. Now I need my baking soda and I need three quarters. And again, it flips so I can scrape. And then I switch to my half from my, or sorry, my quarter from my half so I can get my three quarters. And now I'm going to need a quarter of salt, I believe. Now this one's gonna be the hard one because how do I put this in there? It doesn't work. So I'm gonna to have to pour. Oh, that's a lot easier to pour than powder. And I got a little extra, good enough. Okay, and you know what, I can put the eggs away. Don't need to keep those out, slide those over. Okay, so that's all in there. It says mix and then chill. Well, let's start mixing. Um, Mel, I keep everything in plastic containers. I haven't gotten weevils in flour, but had them in rice. Yeah, even in plastic containers, I've had them before because they might be in, you know, like, the larvae might already be inside. Hey, not Nick Cage. Welcome in. Welcome in. Phantom, welcome in. Impressive camera stuff. Thank you. Thank you. So these three cams are the cams for my fish. And then the, the one up above here, that is that's my Elgato cam for streaming. So uh, it, they're, they're multi-purpose. They're multi-purpose. So those who came in, we are working on our peanut butter cookie recipe. And then the next thing is to chill the dough and then heat the oven to 375. I think I might move on while it chills to make the cranberry sauce. We finish the cranberry sauce, then we'll go to baking the, the cookies. I'll preheat the oven and, and I think that's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna start one thing. This is how I cook. So I do lots of things. You start one, you move to the next, and then you strategically work your way through things. All right, I think we're good. I will show you what we got there.
So there we have, there is our peanut butter cookie dough. So that will go in the refrigerator to chill. And here are my cranberries. Now I wouldn't have refrigerated them, but my car was so cold when I put them in the car, by the time I got home and brought them in the house, they were getting moisture uh, on them and felt cold. And I thought, oh, I don't want to have something go wrong with them if I, if I don't uh, keep them refrigerated. So, all right. Let's see. So what time is it? Di Dinner's tomorrow, Lucy. This is just the prep stuff to get ready. So the cookies will be cooked today. Uh, I'm thinking 2 o'clock tomorrow. 2 o'clock is the plan. Everyone come over by 1, 2 o'clock, and, and then we'll be eating early afternoon. Hey, you are more than welcome to. Okay, so ingredients for fresh cranberry sauce. And there is a cranberry orange relish option. Uh, you know, if I have orange juice, I might just add a splash of orange juice just to add flavor, but I don't want to fully go on the oranges. So heat water and sugar in a bowl and a three-quarter three-quart saucepan over medium heat, stirring occasionally. Continue boiling five minutes longer while stirring. Add the cranberries. Heat to boil over medium. Continue stirring. Okay. You like cranberry orange? Yeah, I'm going to add just a little bit of orange. Not a whole lot. I think when I read the recipe, it called for oranges and squeezed the juice and, the, and the, all of that. It's like, no, nah, that's a little too much work. Um, I'll, have, I'll just grab the lid if I need it later. Don't know if I need it. Okay, so I'm going to actually do two packages at once, just, just to make sure. So one cup of water, one cup of sugar. So that would be two cups of water. So if you are in the U.S., there we go, two cups of water. If you are in the U.S., what are your plans for Thanksgiving? Go into family. You're making the meal. Uh, you're not making the meal. You're staying home alone. What, what, what plans uh, do you have for Thanksgiving? And if you're not in the U.S., have you ever celebrated uh, a Thanksgiving? So I got a little flour on here. I'm just going to dust that off. I don't think it'll make a difference. I'm going to wipe that down. And again, it's not anything going to contaminate. It's just a little bit of flour on there. So I'm not concerned about that. <laughs> you think your husband likes work? He bought an orange. Well, there's some things I'm plenty fine with, with work on. But some, I'm like, nah. That's too much work. I'm going to do it an easier, simpler way. This seems like a lot of sugar to me, but maybe I'm wrong. All right. Close enough. All right. Let's bring that up to a Moiro. Uh, Phantom, I'm going to visit your parents not cooking, just mooching. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. There's mooching and there's holidays. Okay, holidays are not mooching. Okay, uh, if you're taking home, you know, a week's worth of leftovers, then, then maybe mooching. But if you got two, three days leftovers that you take home after a meal with family, not mooching. A month worth of groceries after, then definitely mooching. And then in between, you know, you judge. Um, though I'm expected to be a low effort meal there too. Yeah. And I like to do the extra effort on holidays above and beyond normal. Drew and my faith. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. We are doing some, uh, prep. And so feel free to share what you might be doing for Thanksgiving holiday. If you're doing something. 
Uh, not Nick Cage. Uh, I had just sent an email to a co-worker working in the UK and wasn't sure. So I looked it up. So they typically celebrate privately, if at all. Yes. Yeah. That is, yeah, it's, it's, well, Thanksgiving is really a North American holiday from the standpoint of Canada has it and America has it. And we celebrate it on a national level. But frankly, I think Thanksgiving is a biblical holiday from the standpoint of all the Psalms say to give thanks and to enter his courts with thanksgiving. So I don't know how more, much more biblical you can get than giving thanks. And so, um, yeah, if you want, also, this is what I, what I do. Uh, I ask, what's one thing you're thankful for? When I've been at churches and you come to a, I know this is, I didn't grow up with this, but I went to a lot of churches that all had Thanksgiving Eve and Thanksgiving Day services, which in some way I'm like, no, I want to go be with family. I don't want to be your pastor today. I want to go be with family. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, it would be small attendance, but it was like you couldn't get them out of doing it. But I would like just do a small portion of thanks, do a bunch of songs about thanks, actually all of them because there's not very many. And then we'd pass the microphone up and down the aisles and say what we're thankful for. And then around the Thanksgiving dinner, I like to pass, or not pass the microphone, but just go person to person. What is one thing you're thankful for, for this year? So I am super thankful for the fact, um, somehow, all of you and others have blessed me in a way with donations, helping me get a nonprofit started, helping me pay my bills, helping me uh, with streaming in so many ways, and all your prayers for me when, you know, uh, I'm recovering from injury and those things. Like, God is just... Oh, it's been such a good year. And and then all the digital things expanding on top of that is so good. All right, I'm just getting scissors out, so I'm ready to cut. All right, let me see. Other than heat the water, sugar to boil, three-quart saucepan. Still doesn't seem like enough. Stirring occasionally, bring to a boil five minutes longer while stirring, add the cranberries, heat to a boil over medium, continue stirring, keep sauce boiling about five minutes longer, stir occasionally till cranberries begin to pop. I don't know what that means. Pour sauce into a heat safe bowl or container, refrigerate for three hours or until chilled. Serve or store refrigerated and tightly covered. All right, that shouldn't be very hard at all. Uh, Phantom, it has been a good year, yeah. <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> yes, I will find out what the popping is. Uh, German by Faith, gonna stay at home with the family and help the wife cook. Awesome, awesome. Papstio, uh, they will literally pop sometimes, and they will break open. Okay, well, I'm going to wipe off my lid then. I've got this lid. This is just my cover lid. It doesn't fit anything. It's just, it covers everything. It's so big. So I'm going to wipe that off. You can see I was using that as a surface, and I've spilled a little bit on there. I'm going to turn the heat up on this. Oh, it is starting to get to a boil, so I will need to stir that after I wipe this off. Woo! It's a little warm. So if you're ever wondering, you know, when I'm doing my skillet meals, how do you cover a skillet? This is a nice thing to cover so that I can keep heat inside and cook things around the top on a lower heat. That's one way I do that. Put that back on the back. Now... You don't have one of these if you don't know what this is. This is a whisk, but when I push it, you can see it does the turning for me. So I don't have to do this. All the action is with inside of it and I can go really fast. This is wonderful for beating an egg. Like, mm, super good. So
I'm going to pull this forward. Maybe you can see that. I don't know. We'll rest it right there. Not boiling yet. We're getting close. Universal lid. There you go. That's a good name for it. Universal lid. And it's see-through. That's one of the best things on this. Is It is see-through. And the handle is nice. But the handle, or the flips, so that when you store it, it can store flat. Continue boiling five minutes longer while stirring. Okay, I'm at the point where it is boiling, so I need to stir uh, five minutes. This is fun. This is this is what we live for, right? Watching water boil and and stirring. I don't know. I have to. I don't know that I need to boil water constantly. I'll refill my mug. I mean, it said stirring, but how vigorously do I need to stir boiling water? I don't know. So if you ever need to, you know, beta test, does this work? Does it not work? Where do you make mistakes with cooking? I'm, I'm your guy because I'll just shortcut anything that you have for instructions. My wife, on the other hand, if you need to know if following the directions actually turn out, my wife will follow exactly what the box says and no more and no less. There will be no improvising when my wife cooks anything. That is hot. I cannot keep my hand over it. So it's not five minutes yet. I guess I'll switch hands. This is a double jacketed pot, by the way. So it is really nice, but it's an awkward size. Don't use it very often. Add start in four five minutes. Oh, good enough. Uh, you're thankful for all the amazing brothers and sisters in Christ that you have met on Twitch that keep encouraging me in your life. Driven by faith, that is awesome. I totally agree with that, too. And, and the thing is, there's more and more all the time that I keep meeting. All right. So, bag one is in. Bag two is in. There we go, that killed the boil. Okay, so now I gotta wait for it to come back to a boil. Okay, so now it says stirring occasionally until cranberries begin to pop, so. Okay. Um, Ah, so in the orange relish, the cranberry orange relish kind, you add two oranges seedless and then a half a cup of sugar. So you, you take that down and you got to use a food processor. I don't have one of those. So I would just add a little orange juice when it's all done, when it's in the, going in the refrigerator. I think that's what I will do. I've never actually made cranberry sauce before. Um... I am thinking that I do want to make cranberry wine, so I'm going to be looking after Thanksgiving to see if cranberries are on sale, and I can make some cranberry wine. Now, I do see some of these have cracked. I don't know if that's the popping thing or not, if that's the same. This 
kind of cool looking though. They're getting little cracks in them. You're leaving work now. Thanks, Papstio, for popping in. I love that you're hanging out during work. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a safe drive. Uh, Mel, I follow direction first few times. If I'm comfortable, then, then you experiment. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And all I needed, really, like if all it told me was one bag, one cup of sugar, one cup of water, I'd have been fine. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have actually added the sugar, boil, brought it to a boil, dissolved it, then added. I just don't know how long to go. And I would just look at it and go, oh, yeah, I think it's done now. I think we're good. I can't tell if they're popping or not, so I'm going to just keep waiting. I see them cracking, but I don't know if that counts as popping. Oh, I heard a pop. That was definitely a pop. Sounds like popcorn, actually. Now it says pour sauce into a heat safe bowl. I don't know why I need to switch bowls at all. I'm, I'm just keeping it in this. Okay, I'm gonna take it off the heat, I think. Okay. This, honestly, is the reason I don't use this pan very often. This is the lid. Yes, this, this is the lid. It looks like it could be another container, but look at the way the handles are. So this is like you want to put something in there, and then you put the lid on, and you create a vapor seal, and then you can... It's not pressure cooking, but a similar type of, of idea there. All right, so... That, that would be it. Uh, Trigger Boss, hello, what are we cooking today? Oh, okay, well, let me just show you. We just did cranberry sauce here. And so now it's got to rest and wait. So that was the first stage of that. Uh, we already did the first stage of peanut butter cookies. I'm gonna, turn the, I'm gonna turn the oven on to get that started here. What temp do we need? 375. Uh, bake. So preheating that, and then uh, we'll be, oh, ad break in 30 seconds. So that's a good time for an ad break, actually. Perfect timing, I would say. Um, Mel, you have to pay attention to what my husband does. He doesn't use a food processor in his cranberry sauce. It's chunky. So um, I am going to add... I, you know what? I'm going to wait for this to be cool. I'm going to wait for it to be cool before I add OJ. So we'll be going to an ad break. Um, and while we're at the ad break, I'm just going to run that out in my garage and sit it there. So. Jenna underscore 2000. Hey, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you being here. I'm doing some Thanksgiving prep. So we just finished with the, the cranberry sauce. If you were here and watched that, appreciate it. And then we're going to be switching over to doing the cookies next. So. Da, 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 da. So there, there is our cookie dough. I don't want to keep it sitting here because I'm heating the oven up and it says to keep it cool. So I was just showing that. We'll put it back over here on the counter. Um, I've got plenty of time to get newspapers out in a minute. So
they say cranberry removes gallstones. I didn't know that. That's cool. That is cool. Uh, the plus of living in a cold place is you can <laughs> set stuff in your garage or outside. Yeah, yeah. Because I just put it on the cold floor in the garage, and that's going to bring the temperature down really quick instead of putting it in the refrigerator and heating the refrigerator up. Uh, it also works somewhat as a refrigerator. Freezer doesn't work. Uh, but like often this time of year, when I'm pulling a turkey out to thaw and you want it to thaw for two, three days, before you cook it, if the temperature's right in the garage, that's my extra refrigerator for thawing things. Uh, it works really well, really slow uh, on that. So yeah, totally agree with you. Okay, so we're waiting for the refrigerator, or the refrigerator to heat up. We're waiting for the stove to heat up. And by the way, if you came in, I am sporting full circle beans today. They have, we have a new version of a mug that's available this year. We have a different version of a shirt. I like this shirt. This is the best shirt I think we've had. This is our third, or this is our second version of it. We've got a third version out this year. This is our third version of a mug. We've got a fourth one out this year, and we've got the the coffee. If you go to fullcirclebeans.com, you can buy coffee. We've got deals right now on a combo kit. Save two bucks off of your coffee and your your other item for twenty eight bucks, and for every single combo that you buy, two Bibles are sent to someone who doesn't have one. If you just buy a bag of coffee, a Bible is sent to someone who doesn't have one. If you just buy a mug, a Bible is sent to someone who doesn't have one. Uh, I don't know the stats on how many we have sent overseas, but it keeps growing and growing every year. You're joining me in the on-hold queue. Well, that's all right. <laughs> it's better than just sitting there with nothing to do. Okay. So let me pull back out the uh, the recipe here. Read what's next in the cookies. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Roll dough into one and a quarter balls. Place three inches apart on a lightly greased baking sheet. Flatten, crisscross style, fork, dipped in flour. Oh, I didn't know you dipped the fork in flour. That is good to know. And then bake 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't add the honey after all. Um, let me see if it's liquid at all. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Let's put this back under here. We'll add a couple of teaspoons of honey, mix that up, and then we'll start making our cookies so that when the oven is ready, we are ready. So let me, let me show you. This is actually like a crystal chunk of honey it kind of looks like that it is um brown sugar of some kind so i'm gonna call that a good good amount of uh we added some honey let me just add a couple more chunks there we go see this is what i do there's a recipe and then we stray from the recipe All right, now it said lightly greased pan. I'm going to go with butter because butter was an ingredient rather than olive oil uh, because olive oil could add another taste to it. You know what I could do? Ooh, I don't know how that works with baking. I was going to say I could use MCT oil, uh, so I won't. Um, waiting for sweet water to pick up so you can... <laughs> can warranty the soundboard. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like a cooking live learn. There you go. Yeah, because I've not done this before. Uh, I mean, I've cooked cookies before, so, you know. But 
I've not, I've not done other sauces, but not cranberry. So yeah, it's a little bit of a live learn, like a song musician would do a live learn. Yeah, that's a cool way of thinking about it. Well, I'm listening while doing dishes, so I'm not totally mooch. <laughs> I'm not a total mooch. Hey, all good. All right. Now, I have this set. I don't know if you can see them over there. I have this set of cheese knives. And I've got four cheese knives, and they have a different function, but I love this one for butter. So, there we go. I've got my butter, and I'm going to butter my pan. I'm going to put it here so you can see. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to stick. I mean, I didn't think it was going to work, so I will rub that out. You know, it did say grease. I could use bacon grease. I do have some. I didn't think about that. Again, don't want to mix up too many flavors. Just a little more on this end. All right, next pan. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, the bad thing with the, yeah, the cooking live, live learn. I like that idea because a lot of other people, you're watching cooking shows where they are the expert or, you know, they've done it a hundred times and they're, they're giving you the recipe and taking you through step by steps on how to make it the best it can be. And I'm over here going, let's try this, everybody. Let's see how this turns out. So yeah, the cooking live, the live learn cooking, that, that, that's a nice, that might be a good title. Might need to change my titles to that. All right. Need to clean that off my hands. We're at 355. We need to go to 375. We're getting close. So by the time I uh, put the cookies on, the sheets, we should be pretty close to ready. All right, I think it said one inch ball. Let me just check what that said. Oh, and I got butter on my phone. Roll dough into one and a quarter inch balls. Oh, I was incorrect. They want bigger. Okay. Oh, oven's ready. So as soon as we're ready with the cookies, they can go in. Now, why do I need to roll these in a ball if what I'm going to do is smash them? I'm, I'm not sure I understand the logic behind that. Like, couldn't I do it a different way than making a ball? Now, should I get a tape measure? That looks like it's big. I'm going to go smaller. That feels too big to me. There we go. Actually, thinking this one, I'm going to go downsize to smaller cookies, more cookies. You won't notice you've eaten too many. Da, 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 da. I don't know why I get songs stuck in my head, but I have the A Team theme song apparently stuck in my head. Da, 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 da. Dun, 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 dun. Making cookies. Uh, you use parchment paper, then you don't have to grease easy clean. Yeah, I thought about doing that. And 
I often will will do that when I'm when I'm making things. But saying how this is not a recipe I've made before, I decided not not to go in that direction. Just because I'm not certain exactly on the um, how easy they will uh, spread out, and I know I'm supposed to flatten them with a fork now. So yeah, I don't like that too big. These won't be as good as the cookies we had for tea time. I'm I'm pretty sure that I can I can state that equivocally that our tea time cookies at uh, Glen Erie Castle uh, were far superior to uh, to these uh, peanut butter cookies. Let's see. Like if you have kids, this will be one of the fun things they could do. Like I always loved rolling out Play-Doh as a, as a kid and, and doing cookie dough. It's dough. It's just not Play-Doh. So good, good learning skills if you've got kids or grandkids around. Uh, rolling cookies is uh, a thing they can learn, a skill that's, I don't know if it's useful, but it's a skill they can learn. Ooh, slightly big. Yeah, they might have more experience. They're rolling out the cookie dough. I remember rolling out snakes a lot when I was a kid. I don't know why that was the thing, but you'd sit there and roll them and get really long and see how long of a snake you could build with your, your Play-Doh. I am noticing a couple of these do have, like, I don't know if you, how well you can see it right there, but right there is a solid chunk of honey that's uh, crystallized. And uh, I think it'll melt in the cookie. I think it'll be fine. So I'm not going to worry about that. But I'm noticing that with a few of these. So my honey is old, and I, that's why I showed you it was in a big clump. And it said I could substitute, and so that's what I did. Okay, I think that was a little big. We'll redo that one. Phantom, uh, when I was a kid, my grandmother was always always had you cutting gingerbread dough into. Oh, that's another thing you do. Yeah, cutting cookie cutters are good. Decorating them uh, when they came out of the oven. Oh yeah, or even just sugar cookies are another one you can do. T West. Uh, yeah, I kind of missed how crazy my sister would go with Christmas cookies. Alas, she's nine hundred miles away. Well, you know, if you wanted to do something, you could live. I don't not live stream. You could. Zoom call her and talk to her while she made cookies if she's going to do it. That would be a fun thing to do, T-West. Maybe you can make some uh, T-Rex shaped cookies. Getting close here. All 
All right, so either this one is going to be a baby one, or I need to pinch off a couple of other ones that look a little big. So I think I'm going to pinch off a couple other ones. That one looks a little big. That one looks a little big. We're going to take from them. we we'll do one more off of this and see where we end up. Still a little small. Go off of this one. All right, it's a little small, but I think it will be okay. And then round these ones back out, which I don't know why I need to do that. If I'm actually going to smash them, I should, you know, be fine anyway. All right, how many got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So one short of two dozen. Or no, three short. Yeah. All right, fork. Yeah, then uh, you could look at the cookies. You can't eat over Zoom. Sounds like torture. Or you could bake together. You know, she makes some, you make some. Uh, your MIL will send us cookies for Christmas on years uh, you don't visit. Oh, that's cool. My mother-in-law, sometimes she brings a bin of cookies for, for everyone, or my mom does that too. Okay, so I need this in flour. I'm not sure how you get the get it to stick, but it looks good to me. Let me do this over here so you can see. Now I'm not sure how thin to make these. It did not say so. I'm inclined to just leave them a little bit thicker instead of going super, super smushed. They smell really good. They smell really, really good. I'm going to slide that one a little bit. There we go. All right, there's pan one. wonder what kind of fun you can have trying to, you know, do diagonals or strategically plan so that you, you know, could make patterns and shapes on the tops of the cookies here with the fork. I'm not really paying any attention to that. I'm just going, it looks like it's flattened sufficiently and that I didn't miss an area. But I think you could do some fun things that way. And that one ended up a little small. All right. Forgot I had this in there. And one of the reasons my pans are like this is because I can fit 
two of them side by side in the oven instead of one on above the other. That's why I have small pans. If you're ever wondering, I like that size pan. Okay. Okay. Not missing anything. Um, let me check how long we got to bake. I think it said 10, 12 minutes. So that'd be 410. Good buddy. That'd be eight minutes. Uh, so 412 or come on. I got moisture on my, or I got cookie on my thumb. So I could not open my phone with my thumb. Okay. So 10 minutes would be 12 makes three dozen. I don't, okay. You told me to make one and a quarter inch balls. I, I made less than one quarter, one and a quarter inch balls. And you're telling me it makes three dozen and I didn't even make it to two. I, I don't know what they're, what they're talking about here. Something is off on their, on their measurements. All right. So we got 10 to 12 minutes and those will be done. And then we can check on the cranberry sauce and see how that's going as well. So those who came in later, uh, this is just, you know, prep so that it's stuff that is ready for tomorrow. There's more things I can prep. You know what I actually could prep? I could actually prep cutting the cheese. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, that's not going to work. I'll just set that down. Yeah, they was yeah, but they said it was an inch and a quarter, and then it makes three and a half. And I'm like, I, I I don't I don't think I was making big ones. Maybe maybe they're measuring differently than I am. Maybe they're measuring circumference instead of radius. I mean diameter, not radius. But anyway. That's that's all I can figure. Okay. So just just thinking through your Thanksgiving prep. You don't want to peel your potatoes ahead of time. Potatoes will brown if you peel them ahead of time. So if you were thinking, oh, I could peel them and I could, uh, you know, get them peeled a day ahead of time. You could if you kept them soaked in water. And I'm trying to remember what it is you add. Maybe a little lemon juice or and salt uh, in there so they don't brown. But you have to keep them covered in water you might be able to do that uh, or you could pre-boil them a little bit like boil them just to get the and then keep them in water and put them back on the next day but I would drain the water off before boiling again so you don't keep the starch in there um, the stuffing there's no point in doing any stuffing ahead of time that, that that's that's no need um, I do have sweet potatoes so the sweet potatoes don't don't need anything going on with those. Um, the pot roast. Don't think there's anything to prep on that. The kielbasa. There's nothing to prep on that. The turkey. There's nothing to prep on that. So open a window. <laughs> oh, the green bean casserole. Yeah, I could prep that, but it's so simple. I mean, yeah, and and thank you for that. Is uh, you're just mixing the cans together, drain them off, mix them. I mean, I could prep that. Wouldn't take very long at all to prep that. Hmm. What was the other thing I mentioned? Um, I'm trying to remember. I know I mentioned it. Oh, well, I can say I got pie crust, but that'll be later. Cranberry sauce, we got started. Ah, what am I forgetting? Oh, yeah, I said cut the cheese. I could absolutely cut the cheese. Okay. This, this is my secret for cheese. Don't buy a block of cheese. I mean, I have nice knives, and I can cut cheese. It, does, it doesn't uh, take a lot of time to do that. But... Uh, and don't go buy cheese trays already made up. Just buy slices of cheese and then cut them in half, cut them in half again. You've got really nice squares of cheese. 
it looks like it like it was a lot of work to make those or you spent extra money to get those and instead you didn't you just bought slices and one of the reasons why i think slices are okay is when i look at the ingredients list it it is just milk cheese culture salt enzymes and then you might have a color um annatto is a color in here so that's how you get the yellow um that's all natural. If you buy shredded cheese, it's going to add maltodextrose and other stuff so it doesn't clump and it doesn't bind together. So I buy slices or I buy chunks. I don't buy, I don't buy shredded cheese. So I've got Gouda. That's a summer Gouda cheese. Um, and then I've got some Havarti. If you don't know Havarti, it is a Dutch cheese. It's pretty mild, uh, but it's got some good flavor. Uh, I've got pepper jack, and um, I've also got sharp cheddar. So we can we can work on cutting some cheese, but I'm going to wait until after we're done with the, the cookies. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to get out some trays for the cookies to rest on when they come out of the oven. Okay. Oh no. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm walking away, but what I'm doing is I'm going to my recycling bin and I am looking for newspaper ads to dry, to set my cookies on when they come out of the oven. I know you can buy these really fancy racks and all of that stuff. Uh, I'm going to use the one tray out of my um, oven for air frying. That works good. And I'm going to put newspaper on top of it for the cookies to cool off on. So, I don't want them to go straight on top of my counters because my counters are a stone and I don't want the heat to go into the stone. Uh, if there are any uh, imperfections, that could cause problems there, so. Cheese is for crackers. <laughs> I do have crackers, yes. I do have crackers. I don't make my own crackers. It's one of those things maybe I should try sometimes, making my own crackers. Anato is great for color. Yeah, yeah, that's primarily what you use it for. Okay, so I can show you this. This is my tray for air frying so that you can put it in my oven and it fries all the way around. And there I go, I've got my cookie tray ready to put the cookies on the come out of the oven. I'm going to do two layers of paper in case they're moist and they need a little bit more. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. On that camera, you might. The light just went on. So you, you might be able to see. So, oh, those are big cookies. <laughs> Those are big cookies. Um, they are running into each other. I thought I had sufficient space, but they spread out even more. So, so maybe I could have made it to two and a half. I could have maybe won one more tray of cookies and, and made it work. So, I'm going to use this, this spatula, I think, for getting the cookies out. That will be good. Hard to beat a Ritz. Oh, well, yeah, Ritz is a pretty good cracker. Uh, Mel, make annatto oil to use in rice dishes. And on the rare occasion you make for Thanksgiving turkey, you put annatto oil on the turkey. Ooh, ooh. I've never played with annatto and did anything with that. Uh, I did just see, so this is a really cool thing. I'm not going to... Well, maybe I could do it this year. Maybe I could do it when I reheat uh, the turkey. Is uh, use a cheesecloth on top of your turkey that you you make a butter marinade and then you soak the cheesecloth in it, put it on top of your turkey, and then when you baste your turkey from the drippings and everything underneath, 
you are re-administering the butter on top of the turkey. So that sounds like a cool way to do it. Well, more tea. Da, 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 da. And we're at 10 minutes now. It said 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to go a little bit longer because I think my cookies are a little big. Yeah, if it wouldn't have told me how big to make them, I would have made smaller cookies. I would have. It's a problem sometimes with instructions aren't 100% clear or you don't fully understand or which way are you measuring. I mean, all of those things. Like anyone was getting a tape measure out and measuring their cookies. Although I can smell them. I think let's, let's get them out and test them. Let's get them out and test them. Okay, I might need to like you can see this one right here looks like it's good. That one might need to go a little longer. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scoop a couple off and see how we do. Didn't plan this well, but I'll do it this way. I'll, I'll just move this again. So we'll set that there to put our cookies on. Just want to find my corner. There we are. Looks like I can go over the corner. Oh, you can see where that uh, chunk of honey melted. Um, I'm going to leave that one. That one looks like it needs a little more browning. I'm pretty happy with the way those look. I hope they taste good. Okay, I'm gonna put these back in and let those cook a little more. And I think these ones are all done. They're coming off. Fantastic. Again, you can see right there was where a, a chunk of honey was. If I can put the honey back in, there we go. All right, well, I won't have room for all the cookies, I think. I'm going to slide these in order to make room. Still, we'll have not enough room for all the cookies. Let me just put that back here. Turn that off. And there I have one extra cookie left, so I will just have to find what I'm gonna do. I don't know if this is advisable or not, but it's what I'm gonna do. It's problem solving sometimes, you know. Cover these with two layers, put that cookie on top. Boom, there we go. That'll be my cookie that I'm tasting Anyway, so if it has issues, problems, it'll be all good. Let's move this over here out of the way and let those cookies cool off. Yay, there we go. Cookies done. 
Okay, let me see. Uh, Mel, I add olive oil and add seeds and then steep in the hot oil. Let it cool and strain out the annatto seeds. Uh, eat, it's too hot. I got to let it cool off. I, I'll, I'll try one, but I'll let it cool. And you get a cookie and you get a cookie and you get a cookie. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so let me get a cutting board out and we'll we'll set up for cutting the cheese. We can cut the cheese then and prep the cheese. And what I will likely do, or what I will do, I should say, is I will cut the cheese, put it back in the back in the package afterwards, and I'll put it on a tray tomorrow. I need a diamond. Hi. You doing a Thanksgiving prep there? Yes, I am. So we just took the peanut butter cookies out of the oven. And we earlier made uh, the cranberry sauce. And so, so now I'm working on cutting the cheese. So this, this is uh, one of, this is my block cheese knife cutter. I love the little hook on the end there. That is fun but I'm gonna use this cheese cutter. And I know when I got it, it all told me different kinds of cheese that they were good for. Anita, what, what, five, five gifted subs? Aw, thank you, friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for the uh, Thanksgiving gifts for everybody. Yeah. Um, and if people don't celebrate Thanksgiving and they do it different ways, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to, I'll be streaming tomorrow morning. I, I asked my daughter if she was cool with us um, streaming, cooking, and she's like, yeah, dad, whatever. So, so you might get to see my daughter, um, doctor, doctor, uh, tomorrow uh, on stream. And uh, so... I don't think we're going to stream the pie crust tonight after she gets here, but I, we will be doing the pie making tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, I don't know the time, I'll get with my daughter. If she doesn't want to do it until 9, I'll probably do Bible study to start with, and then we'll do the pie making, and then we'll roll right into making everything else that's prepped, probably with the exception of doing simple things like making the stuffing or whatever. So I need a, y'all, you thank you. Yeah, just a, you're welcome. Yeah, Trigger Boss, woo woo. Yeah, you know what, this is, this is just like, if you came in and you didn't do this earlier, like one of the things I do with Thanksgiving is I ask people what they're thankful for. What are you giving thanks for? What are you, what are you just so grateful for this year uh, that's going on? And, and like friends online, is, is definitely one of the top. And people blessing me uh, with bits, tips, subs, donos. Uh, without all of you, I wouldn't have been able to get the prayer booth started. Without all of, all of you, I wouldn't be able to, to you know keep the lights on and do all those things. I mean, my wife makes a, a I say a decent salary. You know, it's all relative. But she makes a pretty good amount, which allows me to not make a good amount. And, and, I'm, and, and I've made it through the year and it's been a blessing. Anita for the win. Oh, how did you do that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We do have a hype train going. We do have a hype train going. Uh, let me pull up my hype train songs. So that, so that we got that going. I mean, I don't want to miss out on, on the hype train, especially Trigger Boss here. Um, you know, making all of, uh, of my, um, Making all of them for me. Um, okay. Why am I not finding them today? I still need to do something with them. There we are. All right. Let's get a hype train song going. 
I love this one. I love this one. I'm thankful for being alive, for breath, for wisdom, and understanding, specifically with crazy things going on in the world at the moment. Did you just drop a bunch more? You did! Dude! I, I, I almost want to dance. Almost. Almost. Conroy! Hey guys, I got the crock pot full of juice and chipotle sauce. Woo! That sounds good. All right, let's try some of these new ones I haven't heard yet. You'll 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 be listening to it along with me. Phantom, dude! Hype, 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 hype! Awesome! It's a little bit too slow. A little bit too slow. After the banjo, I need a little bit more pick me up. These these things like there's some smooth jazz rolling here. Oh, oh, there we go. I like this one. Yeah. Sermons given with flair. Thank you notes are running wild. I like that. I like that. It's a hot train, hot train to choose. Woo, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. I need to, uh, that's also very true. Thankful for my son this week managing, uh, finally to get a new house. Woo! Hype, hype on that. In the kitchen, he's a sight. What? Angels, twanging, flower flies into the this one's for the kitchen? For to see. Pastor's Twitch Kitchen. Woo! Cookies in the oven, cookies on stream. Flour, dust, and butter. <laughs> oh yeah, awesome! Your son uh, provided to him on the uh, by the council, so he could finally get the ten month old out of their room. Oh, what a blessing! And with her sister giving the son a room to himself. Oh! That's so good. No room for baby. Yeah. Yeah, there was no room. Yeah, you. Yeah, this is awesome. I love this one. The kitchen. I won't use it that often, but it's right now. Woo! Taking carpet shopping on Saturday. I like hardwood floors. So you can see I got hardwood floors. Even in the bedroom. I'd rather have hardwood and throw down a uh, rug. Cookies baking on a stream. Woo! <laughs> Dope performs. <laughs> Dope performs. Oh, that one's so good. That one is so good. Let's see. Let's see. Wait. Let's, let's try. Let's try one more. Trigger boss, man, what a blessing. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Okay, next one. Yeah, you, you tell, I like a little faster. Flat cat pastor with a banjo in hand. 
streaming to the world from church's land. Yeah, that one sounds really close to the other one. Uh, Anita, yeah, it was a shame, uh, but thankfully uh, for the house. It's a new building house, and it was the first. Oh, wow! Brand new, brand new. That is awesome. Flat cap pastor with a banjo in hand, streaming to the world. Try a couple more here before the hype train rolls out. Wait, 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 wait. I, I see one that, oh, this one says scripture stream. Let's see what this does. That's the end of the hype train. Okay, there there is a couple that say Pastor Pete's stream. What What's, what's the Pastor Pete's? Pastor's praise party, ooh. Choo choo! You earned a hype chest. Oh oh! I have a hype chest. What is a hype chest? I've never seen a hype chest before. I'm gonna share the the choo choo from the hype chest. That's cool. Super cool. Okay, I think I'm up on chat and everything. So. Like I said, uh, those were the two things I had planned, was to do the cookies, to do the cranberry sauce. It looks like I just got to wait three hours on the cranberry sauce, and, and it's good. So uh, I'll cut the cheese, and we'll prep that, and then I'll bring the cranberry sauce in and stir it, and I might stir in a little bit of orange juice to add a little uh, vibrance to it, and then and then we'll be done. Yes, new emotes. Yay. I know. I love new emotes. I love new emotes. Okay. So one of the things when you get sliced cheese, so it doesn't stick together, is they often have this paper in there. So when I'm going to slice these to make a cheese tray, I'm going to still keep those around. So cut it in half, cut it in half, take my cheese slice that was there. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut it like that, fold that over. There we go. So, and if you've not seen Havarti cheese before, sometimes if you get the slices, you get you get holes in it. Sometimes it's more of a solid cheese uh, that you'll get with Havarti. But I like Havarti. It's I don't know when I got shown Havarti for the first time. Probably bought it in a big hunk of cheese. See, this is, like, this is minimal prep. Like, if I was cutting all of these, cutting it down, and, like, you can go to the store and buy the already sliced stuff. Like, this is not hard prep. I mean, look at how much, I'm going to have this package cut in no time at all. And then, tomorrow, all I got to do, pull the cheese out, place it on a tray, Trace, place the crackers in there, and we're good to go. Why, why spend money? <laughs> so actually, my wife is doing a uh, a party at work, and uh, they were talking about everybody bringing their favorite charcuterie board that they make, and my wife just like audibly laughed at the the whole thought of her making a charcuterie board. <laughs> And, and they're like, well, your husband could, could do a tray. Um, she's, he, she's like, he's not that fancy. So, so there, there's, there's no charcuterie board. Um, I mean, I will, you know, like a meat and cheese tray. I'm good with you calling what I do a meat and cheese tray, but I am not fancy enough to put all the things a charcuterie board is going to do. Not. Not really my deal. Okay, I think that's going to be the, the amount that I want for a stack. I'm going to start the next stack now. And before I do, I'll check on anything in there. Oh, no, just new emotes. So nothing in the chat. Okay. 
ba 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 You know what I might need to do is get some uh, music that's just subtle in the back, kick kitchen music, because there are more times here when I'm in the kitchen where I'm just like, I'm not talking constantly. Um, I'm just, did you see that? I just switched it up. Oh, no, I went kitty corner on that. Do you believe it? Is that allowed? Is that allowed? Just... Oh, no, and look at, they're, they're not exactly square. You know what? Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to, nobody's going to care if your measurements are slightly one way versus the other. And if you do care, you know how you fix that? Let me show you. Well, let me put this one there. Oh, let me go this way. So you can see, oh, look at that. This one is that much too big. Oh, no. Yummy. So if you do care. There's a solution. If you don't care, it's still fine. Oh, that's good cheese. Like, if you don't like pungent cheese, it's not pungent, but my brain wants to register that same kind of connotation. So it's not pungent, like a, like a stinky cheese or anything like that, but it... It does have a good, uh, distinct flavor to Havarti. Okay, and then I'll do that. And that on top. There we go. One thing of cheese cut. Oh, you know what? There on the bottom, I had paper still there. I can do that. Now tomorrow, this is all ready to go. And since this was just manhandled, I'm gonna go straight in the fridge with it so it doesn't stay warm. Past repeats. That's a mispronunciation of your side. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, like, Pastor Pete's? What is, what is Pastor Pete's? There was a couple of Pastor Pete's there, so. Uh, just eat the messed up ones. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, you know? That's what, that's what cooking's all about. You'd be eating the whole slice. Yeah, that's fine. Eat while you do, you know? You don't know no Pastor Pete. <laughs> okay, so this is the Gouda cheese. This is the Gouda cheese. Uh, one of the things I'll show you here, like, let me just double check before I speak out of turn. I want to go make sure ingredients. Nope, it does have a netto. It does have a netto for, for color. Um, so butter and cheese that would be in the spring would naturally have coloring in the cheese from the green grass with the vibrance of the chloroform early on in the spring. And so if you got your cheese and your butter early in the spring, the yellow would be super vibrant within it. If your cheese was made at some other time of the year, it wouldn't be as yellow. And so they figured out a netto could color cheese. And so they started adding color to cheese so that you would have colored cheese because it became desirable the more yellow that especially with cheddar cheese uh it became a, an important factor of the cheese yeah i know lots of stuff about unimportant things but let me show you something else this is my favorite cheese block that i buy this is extra sharp cheddar and um You'll notice it's white. It's white cheddar uh, because they didn't add any coloring in it. Uh, my wife's calling me. Uh, I'm just letting her know I'm online, so that's why I didn't answer her message. Um, and that she hasn't left yet. Uh, 
Okay. Anyway, yeah, I like. I love learning unimportant things that nobody ever needs to know, and you can't really use very much in real life. But like, this is I buy blocks of cheese, and um, that's what I do. Okay, we got to add. Oh, it's one minute still for the ad. I'll get caught up on get caught up on uh, chat here. You love cheddar in England. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You got a stinky cheese there. Uh, my now favorite cheese is Welsh dragon cheese. If you've never had Welsh dragon cheese, be prepared to blow the budget on cheese. Um, it has mustard seeds in the cheese. Oh, uh, Welsh red dragon cheese. Oh my goodness. My favorite. Uh, Last time I bought it, I believe it was $18 a pound. It might have been more expensive than that. Uh, maybe it was $32. Yeah, I think it was double that. It was $32 a pound. Uh, yeah, blow the budget on cheese if you want to. That's what I say. All right, ads are coming in. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a BRB screen and just chat with my wife a second. He's got that flat cap dapper look Making waves online Spreading the word on Twitch Pastor with a cheerful heart, no lie Preaching joy so high to the sky He'll be right back, yes He'll be right back, back Joy they make I'll be right back, back Yeah, back We'll be right back in two or three Ooh, Stilton I don't get Stilton very often That's, that's an interesting cheese I can't say that I've had it more than once. Okay, we got a... Got a raid coming in, so I'm going to roll my raid footage here and... Turn, turn down the uh, raid on the background because I don't know if you're coming in on my ad. My ad is going, so the ad should be rolling out in just a second. All right, so welcome in, Raiders. Oh, my goodness. Is that Father Evan, CSP, with a raid of 19? And if I'm wrong on that, if that is not Father, maybe it's Friar Evan. Uh, let me know. Let me know. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, that cam is normally on me. It's on the cheese I was about ready to cut. So, Cheezo 2K. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for coming in. Little cheesy old. I love this. I'm coming in with people with cheese. We were just talking about cheese. I was dropping some cheese knowledge. We're cutting some cheese and prep for thanksgiving tomorrow as we're you know trying to figure out what i can prep today that won't be a waste of time um and you can see from uh i do have a lot of fish and uh i read the bible that's what i normally do but around the holidays i like doing some different things to connect and uh help people who are uh at home around the holidays stay connected or have something to do and so this is one of the things i found to do so if this is when you've got normally got a schedule and now you're in the middle of the afternoon and you have nothing to do and no one to watch that's why i'm on today doing this and i'll be back tomorrow morning as well but my normal schedule is monday tuesday thursday friday 
reading the Bible, 745 to 10, 11, uh, depending on the day of the week. So, uh, but I like cooking. I like prepping. I like prayer preparing for people. And this is when I get to have a lot of fun around the holidays. So uh, I will be doing that tomorrow morning with my daughter. We'll be doing some pies and then we'll be pre prepping the rest of the meals. Thank you Raiders for coming in. Appreciate you all. You wonder how busy your cheese shop is? Yeah, well, we have we have a cheese shop set up in my county and she comes to our local farmer's market. <laughs> and, and this is how I feed my cheese addiction. I go down there, I can buy two hunks of cheese, doesn't matter the cost, doesn't matter the size. I will have them eaten in two days, but then I gotta wait two weeks to go and get really, really good expensive cheese. And uh, since I was unemployed this year, I didn't, I didn't visit her once. Did not visit her once. I, I don't have a full-time job, I don't have, I don't have, I, like, like, I love teasing and my wife loves joking around about my lack of income not a lack of activity not a lack of ministry not a lack of all those other things but a lack of uh, income and so it's like uh yeah i need to get a job to feed my cheese habit so anyway um i'm gonna get caught up uh father is correct okay great hey thank you for coming in um did we get a shout out for for father um what were you what were you streaming Hey, thank you for the follow, Father Evan. I'll get caught up on you, and I'll see what that is when I get caught up on chat, what you were streaming. This is not my normal setup. You can see from the other VOD, so that's a fish cam over there. This is a fish cam. Back there is a fish cam. I got another channel devoted to fish that's in the works. Over here is my normal cam. And thank you guys for the follows. Little Monster. Cheese 2K, like, I love, these names are fantastic. So I hope you were doing something with cheese. Uh, you know, if not, that's okay. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for the dapper hat reference, Cheezo. I love that. Donnie Dreams, hey buddy, welcome in. Hey, little cheesy, thank you. Uh, Donnie, uh, got a store, ran by Amish about an hour drive. That has some, oh yes, yes. I've got Amish close by too that has some. So you have a smoked bacon cheddar, a peppered monster. Oh, oh, I am intrigued by a peppered monster. I've not had that one. They also have a ghost pepper. Oh, well, that's just good on, on the surface of a ghost pepper. Absolutely. I was just talking about my, my new favorite cheese before everybody came in is um, Welch Red Dragon Cheese that has mustard in it, mustard seeds in the cheese. Oh, oh, it is worth blowing the cheese budget for the month on that cheese. Even if it's gone in two days, it carries me through the month. So, oh, you were doing some Minecraft, okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 building a cheese mark uh, marketplace in, oh, that's cool, you're poor, so I usually get the big block of uh, Colby Jack. Yeah, I'm all good with that. But what I was telling people, so rather than spend the money, uh, and a block of cheese versus sliced cheese is almost identical in price. But if you get shredded cheese, it's more expensive. If you buy a tray of cheese that's already cut into smaller pieces, it's more expensive. So this is what I'm doing. So right now, uh, I've, got, I've got the Gouda cheese. And... Uh, I like slices because there's no extra ingredients in here. Let me just look at the ingredients. There is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, enzymes, and then a netto for color, which is a vegetable color, not an artificial color. So that's it. I know what all of those things are. I'm happy putting all those things in my body. So I take the slices and you slice it in half. Turn it. Slice it again. Now I'm going to stack them up. And when you have slices, they come with a little paper separator. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. I'm slicing those up. So I don't need to put these on the tray yet. I'm just getting them into the little, little squares. Like, how hard is that? Now, if you're one of those people that cares about the size difference between the two. Oh, no, I have two different slices. Well, I can stack them up. Look at That's how much difference there was. I can, you know, save those for something else or, you know. Have a little bite while I'm uh, doing some prep work here. So, 
Anyway, that's how I do my cheese trays now. I don't go buy a cheese tray. I buy the cheeses that I like. I uh, prep them like this, slice them into four squares. You could do smaller if you wanted. If you, if you wanted to go smaller, you could probably do these in thirds. Uh, I wouldn't do thirds in both directions. I might slice them, you know, one way versus the other. But that's about the right size, I think, for a cracker. And if I've got a small round one, it hangs off the edge. If I've got bigger ones, it's all good there, too. So, all of you with cheese names, where do you guys usually hang out and Twitch? Uh, is there a streamer that does cheese stuff that I should be following? I mean, if I need more cheese knowledge, is there someone that I could be following over there? Uh, Sunshine, hey! Hope you're doing well. You got plans for Thanksgiving? Oh, by the way, anybody coming in new with the raid? Uh, I do normally stream reading the Bible Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, about 7:45 EST. You can hang me out, help, or find me doing that. But I do cooking streams around the holidays. Uh, I have a fish pond outside. I have no cams on it right now because they're all in my kitchen set up. But uh, I do that, and um, I'm connected in a bunch of other places doing things. So Sunshine was one of my first mods helping me out and uh, she was impacted by the um uh the hurricane that went through and kids just got back to school last week or this yeah last week i believe it was so good to see you hope you're doing well hope you got some good stuff planned for the holidays if you're in the u.s or canada maybe you did it last month uh what's your favorite thing about thanksgiving and, and if you're not uh, in the U.S. at all, uh, one of the things that I do, uh, I ask people, what are you thankful for? What's something that you're thankful for that you've experienced this year that's, that's just been a blessing to you? And, uh, and, and for me, um, it's, it's been a lot of people online that I've been connected with in a community like this and people you know, dropping bits, tips, and subs, and helping out. Uh, I started a, a nonprofit, a prayer booth in my local market, which was fantastic and a lot of fun. And uh, so I, I'm thankful for all those things. And I'm thankful my wife has a good paying job that allows me to, to do more things like this, that if I had to go get a full-time job, it would limit my ability to hang out and do things like this. So, all right, uh, what else we got? Miss Gouda in her room doing something with yarn or paper. Oh, that sounds like a poem I should know. Oh, Manciago is your favorite. Ooh, I love, yeah, this is Drop the Cheese favorites here. Uh, Cheezo, uh, you've discovered the Christian corner of Twitch just recently. I've been hanging in the Minecraft corner. Well, Cheezo, if you go over to my Discord, I have a whole section that is going to point you towards the Christians. If you're looking for that in Christian community, I will have links to a whole bunch of Discord servers of other Christians. So um, I don't have logos on this channel or this piece here, uh, but I am a member of uh, DC4C. There's Taco, there's Reach Conference, there's Safe Streamers. Go to my Discord. I have a channel for Christian content creators. And I don't usually put individuals there. I put collections of them. And if you go into any of those communities, uh, Love Thy Nerd is another one. Uh, uh, XP Church, North Hill Live, another church, uh, Lux Digital Church. You're going to find a lot of Christian community growing. I also uh, am the relationship director over at the Church Digital. And we just launched a beta course on helping people become digital missionaries. So connect with me. I'll get you connected. That's what my part of my job is. Part of my love is, is helping people connect with other people. So thank you for saying that. Uh, Cheezo, my grocery store cheesemonger has a bit uh, for under $5, a bin for under $5 cuts. I need to, your cheesemonger. I definitely need that. Yes, my my stream is kind of cheesy today. Yes, it is, Donnie. Donnie, I hope you're doing well. You got plans for Thanksgiving, friend? Uh, Sunshine, you're going, connecting a lady who is donating a camper to a lady who needed one. Amen. Oh, you already missed a spot of tea. Okay. 
So I started my stream. This is, this is, if you do not know it, I will show this off again. This is my teapot. There is the strainer. I use loose leaf tea. This is the Russian method for making tea. You boil the tea leaves in the tea. You live in Siberia, you need some strong tea. So I'm doing Earl Grey today, Earl Grey all day. Thank you for the spot of tea. Also, by the way, if you notice, I'm wearing Full Circle Beans. It's a coffee company, uh, Full Circle Beans here. Um, I run their, their Shopify. I used to be on the board for the organization that started Full Circle Beans. Every bag of coffee you buy, we send a Bible to someone overseas. You can get a t-shirt there also or a mug. You buy one of those, we also send a, uh, a Bible overseas. And in the holidays, if you want a note that says, hey, uh, you're giving a gift to somebody who likes coffee and you give it to them and it says, hey, a Bible was donated in addition to this to someone overseas, we can get you set up with that for your Christmas holidays. Just go to fullcirclebeans.com. So, uh, bu -bu 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 uh, Chizo, feel good food and family is always good. We've never had any of the big disagreements I hear people talk about. Oh, Chizo, what a blessing! What a blessing! You've got peach tea, sunshine. Love it. Yeah, my mom has, has gone to only fruit flavored teas. Um, yeah, I could talk about teas too. I am just getting into the Harvest Flowers variety of tea. So I've got some goldenrod. I've got lavender. I grow those in my yard. Um, I'm going to do echinacea. I harvested echinacea. I let it sit too long. It had some moisture, grew some mold. So I'm not doing it for tea this year. Uh, I didn't dry it out properly to be able to do tea. Uh, but I'm learning those things. I'm learning those things and trying to do more of that. Long story. Uh, but not really. Okay. Okay, Donnie. Tea Earl Grey Hot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Earl Grey Hot. All right. We'll keep going with the cheese here. Bum, ba -bum, bum, bum. You know, this is just a regular Gouda, but Gouda is a fantastic cheese if you like smoked cheese. I have tried to do smoked cheese before. Um, I wasn't happy with how it turned out. There's a little bit of trickiness with the smoked cheese of the keeping the temperature down so the cheese does not melt. Um, so cheddar is actually probably an easier cheese. Look at that. I didn't even turn it sideways. I just turned my knife sideways. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the different ways that you can do the same thing over and over again. I'm going to slide that one over so I can slide this further away from my knife, actually. There we go. By the way, also, uh, if you have prayer requests, uh, love to pray for you. You got something going on, someone in your family. Don't neglect, if you've got something going on, asking for prayer. I have seen amazing things happen with people praying uh, for others digitally. Oh, that's where I was also talking about, with going to mention with um, uh, Sunshine. Uh, so one of the other things that I like to do is, is a thing we call pass the cap. And so... If you know someone in need who is on Twitch or in the Twitch community or digitally, or even a person you know real life, uh, share that in my Discord. I'll connect with the person and we will pass the cap for two weeks on my stream. We'll ask people to donate. We'll talk about the cause. If they got a GoFundMe, they got a coffee, uh, they've got some other platform to collect the money, we'll go direct to them. If they don't, I'll collect the money and, and pass that on to them. So. Uh, those are a couple things that uh, else that I do. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. You got some smoked cheddar, so good. Oh, it is. Uh, you like green tea, Chizo, and uh, orange pico. Yeah, orange pico was like one of the prominent ones when I was a kid, and uh, uh, I don't go that route very often. Yes, not green pico. Yes, yes, yes. Orange, are you green tea and orange pico? So it's just an orange pico and green tea. Gotcha. No, no problem. I understood. You have seen God's timing so much here. It is amazing. You like blue cheese. I'm allergic to blue cheese. 
Um, so I'm allergic to mold, and blue cheese is made with mold. So I I cannot have blue cheese. Uh, I will I will uh, well I won't get severely sick, but uh, like my throat will uh, swell up. Uh, I'll have other problems. So I can't do blue cheese. Um, there are some cheeses that are not permitted in the U.S. Now I have not had these cheeses. Uh, I have traveled overseas, but one of the cheeses is made uh, using maggots to uh, to do the cheese. That just doesn't sound appetizing to me. So um, I don't have any plans to try that cheese. Um, not that I'm opposed to, you know, animals or, you know, other things being involved in the process of making something. Like there's a coffee that is... This will sound gross. There is a coffee that um, the beans are eaten by a cat. And then the cat gets rid of the beans, you know, as, as a, something you would eat would be gotten rid of. And, um, and then you make the coffee out of it afterwards. Well, that's still heated up and cooked. So, um, but part of it is the cat does something in the digestive process to... Uh, I guess, process the beans to make it into the coffee. So I'd be open to that, but, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm open to try something once. So what is, before I tell you mine, what is, if you were to tell people a food that you've tried, what is the weirdest one you've tried that you know that you're going to get a gag reflex from somebody? Uh, you know, just, just post that in the chat. All right, so here we have the Gouda. I prepped it. It's going right back in the bag. There we go. They came in sliced bag or in bags of slices. Boom! It's in a bag of slice. Tomorrow, I'll take it out. I know what it is. That's why I put it back in the bag. And now that it's been manhandled, it's put away. Yeah, it's not good at all that I have allergy. Yeah, but I. I but it's easy to avoid. Easy to avoid. Always keep the Benadryl. You know, I probably would be fine if I really wanted to eat blue cheese and just take some Benadryl ahead of time. I probably would be okay with that. Uh, my concern is I don't want it to escalate. You know, if I all of a sudden was like, oh, I got to have blue cheese all the time and I got to do it. No, no, nope, don't want to do that. Uh, okay, so we're moving on. We're moving on to Pepper Jack now. Moving on to Pepper Jack. I don't have the ghost Pepper Jack. Just, just the regular Pepper Jack. Uh, Johnny, apparently there's another one that is the same, but elephants. Oh, I didn't know that one. Personally, I'll pass on the crappy coffee. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Crappy coffee. Thank you. Um, I can't make, uh, my kids gag just by saying the word fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. My wife is opposed to things that swim in the sea. Yep. Um, okay. So. I think the weirdest thing I've ever eaten that, that people get grossed out when I tell them is caterpillars. Uh, I didn't, they were cooked. I didn't just go out in the yard and pick one up and eat it. Uh, they were weird. The texture, like my, my, my brain was going, spit it out from the texture alone. Uh, and they were cooked, like I said. So it wasn't gushing in my mouth or anything like that. But caterpillars is usually the one I tell people and they're like, what? Why were you eating caterpillars? Where where did you have those? So I had those in Kenya. Is where I had caterpillars. Um, you've had live surf clams. Oh, interesting, Mel. I don't think I've had them live. Sugar Boss, you've got to roll the catch you later. Hey, thank you. Yeah, I just got to finish cutting cheese, so we'll probably be done in about, you know, 10, 15, 20 at the most. I appreciate you being here. Oh, you think you would be whelks? Okay. You've seen poisonous ones before. Uh, they stung bad. Oh, yeah. Used to eat, uh, Chizo says, leaves off mulberry trees and nibble on certain types of grains from your parents' yard. Ooh. -oh. Paper in class. <laughs> I was young as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, the, uh, the eating. What was the thing that my son, oh, I can't remember. I have to ask my wife. What? Oh, straws. 
Like he would just gnaw on plastic straws. I was like, dude, no, 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 you don't need to eat no plastic straws. Bum ba rum bum ba bum 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 ba rum bum 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 ba rum bum bum. Oh oh, what do we got? What do we got? Growing underscore feet just rated with seven viewers. What? What? Okay okay, let's get let's get uh, raid song rolling in. Welcome, welcome, growing feet. So good to see you. Raid Roar. Oh, I like that. Um, G G N G N M. No, oh, sorry, G nine M. I don't know how to pronounce that. G nine M eleven C five. I'm sure that stands for something, but my brain ain't figuring it out. Uh, um, Dead Shot Storm. Ooh, Dead Shot. Very nice. Very nice. Welcome in. Raid Gober! All right. Growing Faith, Growing Faith Raid. Excellent. What were you doing? How are things going, Growing Faith? Hope you're doing well, friend. G9. Okay. G9, LOL. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm butchering this. I mean, I, I, I usually feel I'm pretty skilled, but... Oh, my brain was going for a loop on that one. Uh, ba -ba 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 Consumed by him. Ooh, I like that name. I like that name. Welcome in. Welcome in. All those raiders coming in. Oh, and I didn't ask this earlier of the uh, others who came in. Those coming in with a raid, what is it that you love about the community that you are coming from? What is it about hanging out with growing faith that you love? So if you want to post that in the chat, if not, what's one thing uh, that you are thankful for? This year. Uh, let me find the right cam. What's one thing you're thankful for this year? That's what I love about Thanksgiving is the focus on being thankful. So uh, I am I am thankful for uh, so, so, so many things. Uh, I'm thankful that all of my kids have a job right now. Uh, three years ago at Thanksgiving, uh, I had three unemployed uh, well, more than that. Actually, like, during COVID, I had two unemployed sons living in the basement uh, and probably three, four friends off and on unemployed living in my basement in COVID. So I am thankful that almost all of them have jobs right now. Um, what? What? Wind cart? We just did the raid song, buddy, but I'll give you a taste of the raid song real quick and then I'll go back into... What I was just sharing about with everybody else. And I'm way behind on chat, by the way. So, this is my normal setup. Is where I'm normally at. Streaming, reading in the Bible. But around the holidays. Around the holidays. And you can see there's my hats behind me. You can see my fish behind me there. None of them are visible right now. But, uh... I'm not giving you the full song. Sorry about that. I uh, just, just like literally was in the middle of uh, finishing up talking about Raid. I'm way behind on chat, wherever we are. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for coming in. I am here streaming. This is not my normal time of day to stream, but I'm streaming for those who might be home and lonely about the holiday time. They don't have any place to go. They don't have anyone to be with. And so I'm doing prep right now. You can see over here, I'm just cutting the cheese um we're prepping that so that i can make a cheese tray tomorrow and we're doing that by using sliced cheese uh before that we made some cookies let me show you the cookies we made actually so there we go peanut butter cookies i am making for a friend of uh, my son who uh has no family to go spend time with uh, around the holidays. And so they come and they hang out at my house. And I asked what they wanted and they said, peanut butter cookies. So I made peanut butter cookies for the first time. So there we go. Uh, and we also prepped the cranberry sauce. When my daughter gets here later, I won't be streaming this probably. We'll do pie crust. And then tomorrow morning I will be streaming, if she's not ready, the Bible 
and then we'll do prep of uh, pies. We'll be making pies, and then we'll be starting the Thanksgiving cooking. So that's that's what I've been doing. So let me get caught up on everyone else. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you for trusting me with your community. I love hanging out. Um, ask me anything. Um, glad you're here. Okay, I'm way behind on chat. Da, 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 da. Uh, consumed by him. I think I said hi to you. That's where I left off. Oh, is that a shillelagh? Um, it's it's not technically. It is from uh, the Maasai tribe. So in theory, it is, but in origin, I'll say no. But yes, uh, same same principle, same idea. Yes, not the shoebox. Okay, <laughs> that's way back. Okay. Um, growing fake, doing good, played some Stardew and finished Hebrews. Oh, I finished Hebrews last week, I think it was. I think we finished Hebrews last week, so that's awesome, friend. Praying that everyone consumed by him says is having a wonderful day. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Fred. Yes, Chad and I are doing great. You're thankful for your motorcycle. Ooh, ooh. Uh, dead shot storm. Ooh, that that sounds fun. That sounds fun. I do not have one. Uh, I don't plan on getting one, but I do not have one. So, growing faith. Have an amazing and blessed Thanksgiving tomorrow, everyone. Okay, thank you for coming in. Appreciate anyone who's raiding and running. I totally understand that. I often take up to the last minute right before I'm supposed to go to a meeting, and I stay on stream, and then I go. Hey, let's raid. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, hi, I'm here. I can't stay. Goodbye. And, uh, you know, that's how it goes. I got it. No problem. If you raid and you can't stay, still appreciate it. Uh, the Wincari Inn is raiding in. Awesome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. DJ Courageous, good afternoon. Hey, welcome in. Uh, bu 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 yes, Growing in Faith Consumed says is genuine kind and growing in her faith so proud to see her grow isn't that awesome that is there's uh, i don't care where you are in your faith watching someone grow in their faith it, even if it, they have great faith is amazing i love love that uh, ba -ba 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 okay a lot of hearts a lot of hellos uh, yes, long time no see when Kari just, uh, came back to streaming a couple of weeks ago. Oh, well, I'm glad you're back. Um, I did. I used, I used to cro coach cross country. Uh, when I was a pastor in Iowa, I started a team from zero. Uh, five years later, um, the boys team was a regional qualifier and we had the state champion. Um, and then, and then the, the teams, the boys, the girls teams have continued to excel. I know the girls team uh, this past year or the year before uh, went to state and had individuals go to state for cross country. So, yeah, I love I love sport of cross country. Didn't do it uh, as a kid. My son uh, fell in love with it. And then as a coach and parents fell in love with uh, the sport. So, yeah, absolutely. Ba, 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 ba. You want a cookie? Well, you have to come by. You'll have to come by. That was the first cookie you learned to make, Sunshine? Oh, that's fun. Hey, River. Um, how's your mom doing, by the way? How's your mom doing? Uh, you're waiting. Okay, you're waiting to see the doctor, the procedure for your mom to have a defibrillator put in. Uh, okay, yep. It went well and should, uh, should be awesome. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Because I saw the post elsewhere. So thank you for coming in and sharing that. Coming in from Wincari. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Almost caught up. There we go. Praise the Lord. God is with y'all. Thank you. Get a motorcycle. It will fix all problems. <laughs> Deadshot. I, I don't know if I don't know if my wife would agree with that. I don't know if my wife would agree with that. Uh, G nine only Jesus and duct tape could do that. Thank you. Yes, that's that's a better answer. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've known Wincari for a long time too. Wincari, going back uh, maybe four years now. Before. Before going into the missions, 
field and coming back. Okay. Blessings there. That's an awesome blessing. Motorcycle, whole figure skate, two shoe box. Okay. Let me cut some cheese here. Uh, thank you all for coming in. Appreciate it all. I do love getting into the chat um, as one of the funnest things. But I want to get this done. My wife is on her way home. She'll probably be here in a half an hour. And then I'll be needing to wrap up stream at that time. So I want to get this done. Yeah, who cut the cheese? It's right here. I'm going to cut the cheese for you. Look at this skill. Boom. Boom. And those, those who just came in, what I'm doing is prepping for Thanksgiving. And so I want to have a cheese tray. But rather than buy all sliced cheese or buy a block of cheese, I take and I buy the slices. And the slices will come with these nice little pieces of paper in there. And they cost ex almost identical at least in my area, almost identical to a block of cheese, but still way cheaper than if I take and I were to spend the money to have a cheese tray. So I can do a little bit of really simple work here. I mean, half the time is moving the cheese. That, that's what half of your work is, is move the cheese from here to there. The slicing part takes almost no time. This, by the way, is actually a cheese knife. Uh, a couple of years ago, my son got me a cheese knife set for Christmas. And I'm like, why would I want to use knives? I've got this nice little thing for cutting the cheese. And then it broke. And I'm like, I guess I will use those knives he bought me. And now, now I use them all the time. So I do know there was supposed to be a different kind of knife or different kinds of cheese. I don't remember what kinds they were. I just... Use which one seems good to me. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yes, stinky. I don't have any stinky cheese right now. Uh, River, we uh, first met in either Aki Stream or... Oh, yeah, God Squad, or both. Uh, but then we met in person at the Twitch meetup in Denver. Really, River? That's cool. Um, Deadshot, uh, your wife doesn't have to know that you own a motorcycle. Just rent a store. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go no on that. Um if I had an income that was double my wife's uh, income, maybe I'd figure some shenanigans like that, but no way. Uh-uh. My wife is the primary breadwinner. Uh, when you're in ministry, you know, sometimes your wife needs to be the primary breadwinner because you almost at times don't classify as a breadwinner. And the season I'm in right now, I don't classify as a breadwinner I think uh, last month, all of my income was only from what I made on Twitch, and I'm not partner, so it wasn't much. Uh, earlier this year, I did have some stipends that I would get for some work I was doing, which were not much either. Not that I care. Uh, I'm involved in a lot of ministry, and I love doing that. I love hanging out with people online. I love meeting new people. I love connecting people. Um, I've never felt or seen more fruitfulness in ministry than the last three years. And uh, yeah, so it's so much more worth it than, than any money would be. Oh, putting it in the wrong place. Uh, let's go on this one. And there we go. One more down. We will uh, put these back in the bag, and we'll move on to cheddar, which will be the last one. So there we go. You buy them sliced. One of the other things with sliced cheese is the ingredient list is, you know, oh, so natural. Pasteurized milk, jalapeno peppers, cheese culture, salt, habanero peppers, enzymes. That's it. You know everything on that list. And nothing you don't want. 
Um, I'm trying to remember when, Kari, who rated you? If it was Delkery. Oh, I have a dog on my deck, and I do not know whose dog that is. Okay, it's leaving. Uh, I don't know if it was Delkery or if it was um, maybe Ukulele for Worship, but I know we met, you know, I got somebody streamed and rated into you. Could have even been Jake Live. I don't know. That's been so long ago. Hard to remember. Uh, River, just talked to the doctor. Just waiting to see if the chest x-ray goes well. Then you'll be on your way home. Oh, yes. Praise God. You know what? I'm just going to, I just feel, I'm just going to pray over that, River. I'm going to pray over that. Anybody else has a prayer request, uh, please post it in the chat. I would love to pray for you. Um, I have seen amazing things and heard about amazing things happen uh, through prayer on on my uh, well, just the digital space. So, and in, and in a general, I've got a lot of them. So, God, we are praying for for Mom. That's that's how Rivers' mom is known. Just just as Mom for everybody in the community in the digital space. She's she's Mom. She's Mom over at XP Church. Uh, she's Mom over at NCMS. Um, we're praying for her, for the procedure, for her body to respond to what has been done, for it to be effective and for it to have been placed exactly where it needs to be and for her healing, for her recovery. Uh, thankful that River uh, is able to be there and care for mom. Oh, loved hanging out with her uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And so pour out your blessing upon them. Pour out your blessing upon all, all the people who have been in the stream today, whatever is going on in their life, those that are... Uh, in need of healing, those that are in need of mental healing, those in need of physical needs, those those in need of employment, whatever it might be. God, we're just praying for you to pour out blessing upon blessing. Uh, we pray for people traveling uh, for the holidays, at least in the U.S., that you will watch over, you will bless them, uh, that it will be a blessing to be together. And families who are in turmoil, may you bring peace and shalom and surround them with your love. God, we thank you for community. We thank you for relationships. We thank you for growing in faith. Uh, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. So one of my earbuds did just die on me. So I'm using that for microphone right here. Uh, so let me know if the sound is not good. Uh, but anyway. You still doesn't know about the other bike you have. Oh, um, yeah, I'm not advising that in any way. I'm not going to have any part of that. You can give that advice. So I'm, I'm not going to. Now, okay, so I was showing you with the others. They have all these things separating. The cheddar does not. The cheddar doesn't stick in the same way that other, other cheeses do. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take three slices at a time because I don't have to separate them. And since this cheese has been sitting out a while... There we go. It's like I feel like I'm uh, stacking a deck of cards here. Boom, just like that. 12 slices of cheese in a matter of moments. That should be it. Boom. I do have a couple more slices of cheddar, but I'm not going to slice them up because this package was double the size of all of my other packages. So if I need more cheddar, I can just bring that out and slice that up. Otherwise, if I want to make a grilled cheese or some nachos, that's also another thing. Like using sliced cheese instead of grated cheese, um, I don't know, works really well in my opinion. There we go. Cheese prep done. Let me check chat, and then I will go grab the cranberry sauce to take a peek and see how the cranberry sauce is doing. Um, it has gone quieter, a little muffled. Okay. Well, I don't know I can do anything about that. The sound did change, but you hear okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, the fact you at me while saying that makes it hard for me not to know. 
Okay. Well, let me go get the cranberry sauce. We'll check on how that's doing. We made that, I don't know, first. So that's been a couple of hours. No, we, we made that. So we, we prepped the cookie dough, put it in the refrigerator. Then we did the cranberries. That's out of my garage. I live in Michigan. It's cold outside. My garage is cold. So it should have started. It says three hours. So what I'm going to do is pull it out, stir it, check on it, and then add a little bit of orange juice so that, that flavor will soak in. And uh, and then we'll be we'll be pretty much done. I don't have anything else to do tonight uh, until my daughter gets here. Like I said, I don't know if I'll be back making cookies. Or sorry, not cookies. Making the pie crust tonight. We might just want to rush through it instead of me chatting and and spending all my time talking and doing all of that. Uh, but tomorrow morning I will be back. Maybe we'll do a little Bible. But if not, we will be jumping into making the pies. And after we make the pies. Then we will um, start making the uh, kielbasa, uh, prepping the turkey, which is already cooked, and uh, doing the pot roast. So, All right. Uh, enjoy your time with your son. Thank you. All right, so here we go. This was the container that I had. There are the cranberries. They've been sitting out in the garage for a couple hours. Um, they don't look so chopped up here as I usually think cranberry sauce should be, but, but that's okay. Maybe I didn't pop them enough. It said that, you know, once you start hearing them pop, I might have gone a little longer, but as I stir them, I see that they're breaking up. So maybe when this gets more solid and you stir it, it'll break up. But let's add a little orange juice to it. Realizing it's probably got a steel underneath there. Yep, it does. Now, I'm not going to measure this. There, that's how I cook. All right. You blew up a bike? Ooh, yeah, glad you're safe. Well, depends on how you blew it up. Oh my goodness, I was just watching the funniest video that was all these weird things happening on a bike, but what they, the setup was, there's a dog riding in a car that's turning his head and making faces, looking at all of the strange things. So one of the first ones is a guy with a cow. Riding a motorcycle with the cow on there and the dog's making a face and then it cuts away to another scene and someone's doing something else stupid on a bike. And then there's this bike that's like extended bicycle with like eight people riding it and, and then people crashing and stuff and the dog's making all these faces. So there's a lot of crazy things out there that people do with bikes. I've also seen some of them live when uh, I lived in Texas and they would... Uh, ride down the interstate pulling a wheelie for a mile or five miles or whatever else and racing each other gets pretty crazy all right i think that that is pretty much done the cookies are done um and uh the cheese is done I, so i didn't plan on the cheese but we did the cheese and that was a lot of fun it was easy but it was fun and now I'm uh, ready to go. So we got to find someone to go raid. Your dad loved motorcycles? Yeah, my mom used to own a Harley back in the day. My mom did. First the toaster, then the microwave. <laughs> the whole bike. Yep, that's the, the bike community. Texas is another. Co oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It certainly is. 
All right, I do not know who is on this time of day. All right, let me find someone. Apologies if suddenly there's extra noise going on. Just in case, you know, sometimes when you open up a tab and all your other tabs suddenly decide that they want to go active. So that's what I wasn't sure of. All right, don't think that that's the case. All right. Du, du, du. Ba, 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 ba. Where can we go? <laughs> yeah, this is not my normal time. So thank you all who are coming out and hanging out. Oh, another DC Forcey guy is streaming. I could go over there. I don't ever get to raid him. Uh, I'm not sure what he was doing. I'll go back and look. Uh, I think that's where we'll go. I don't know that I've ever raided. There we go. So, just started Call of Duty Warzone, it says. So, just to let everyone know what, what he's doing. I'll get the uh, the raid started here, and then um, we will. Uh, I'll, I'll send you off with a blessing, which is which is my. Uh, nor you know what? Let me do this. Let me do. Oh, I'll do that as soon as I start it. So the raid is started. Now let me switch my. Okay, why would you not pull up? There it is. So let me do that. There we go. So now I'm just. On here. So let me sign you off with a blessing, which is what I do at the end of every service. So it's what I do at the end of every stream. May God's seeking comfort find you. May his loving arms find you. May his might protect you. May his wisdom direct you. May the joyous love of Jesus Christ be with you and all those you know, both now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming in, hanging out with me. Uh, I hope this is a blessing to you. I was blessed by all of you. Those who came in with the raid, all of those new follows. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anybody watching this later? Anybody want the recipe? I did post the recipe for the cookies uh, over on stream. The rest didn't really have recipes, so we're good. Let's go bless other people. Oops, wrong one. I need the credit stream. Where is the credit? Um, there it is. Operating without stream deck. That's what happens. Gospels, prophets, sages, Leviticus, laws to pause, find phrases, turning them corners, no spiritual mazes. Genesis. Oh, thanks for getting the uh, emotes in there. Appreciate that. Psalm singing sweet, unbroken lines. Look at that. New followers. One, two, three, four, five.